हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर बिगिनर्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन विंडोज सर्वे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ही ऑन एम एस एफ टी वेबकास्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी दिस स्टेप्स ऑन हाउ टू कन्फिगर एक्ट टू डायरेक्टरी इंटीग्रेटेड डी एन एस जोन इन विंडोज सर्वे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू विंडोज The first one is standard primary zone type. It has read and write copy of zone data. Primary zone stores a writable master copy of a zone as a text file that end with a .dns extension. The default location of these files is system root system32 slash dns folder, although we can change it. If name of the domain is msaptivebcast.in. then the text file name will be msftwebcast.in.dns you can open this file with notepad and check the entries second zone type is standard secondary zone it has read only copy of zone data it provide redundancy and load balancing changes are made on primary zone which gets replicated to a secondary zone using zone transfers It also stores a text file which has read only copy of zone data. In the last video we have seen the steps on how to create secondary dns zone and set up zone transfer on primary dns zone. Third zone type is stub zone. It stores only partial zone data like host, soa and ns records that can be used to identify the authoritative dns servers for the zone. A stub zone doesn't has complete information of host in zone but since it stores ns records and host record of name server it can forward queries to those name servers who are authoritative for the zone and the last zone type is active directory integrated dns zone dns servers running on domain controllers can store their zones in active directory domain services AD integrated zones store data in Active Directory database as a container object. A container is created for each DNS zone and its class is DNS zone. All of the records and zone data stored within the zone are replicated to other DNS servers by using the native ADDS replication service. Each DC stores a writable copy of the DNS zone data for name spaces for which they are authoritative. Active Directory integrated zones also provides the ability to use secure dynamic updates which supports controlling which computers may make updates and prevents unauthorized changes from being made. In this way it is not necessary to configure a separate dns replication topology that uses dns zone transfers because all zone data is replicated automatically by means of active directory replication let's first create a standard primary dns zone let's understand the test lab we will use in this video we have single domain active directory forest name msftwebcast.com We have two domain controllers in our domain. The app key in of this domain controller is srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. This server has an IP address of 172.18.72.50. Let's go to our second domain controller. The app key in of this domain controller is srt22-dc02.msftwebcast.com this server has an ip address of 172.18.72.51 open run menu tap dnsmgmc.msc and hit enter key to open dns manager to create a primary zone right click the forward look up zones node and click new zone on the welcome to the new zone wizard page click next Select primary zone since this DNS server is also domain controller we have the option to store this zone in active directory clear the checkbox to store this zone in active directory since we want to create standard primary DNS zone click next in the zone name box type the zone name for example type msftwebcast.in and click next if you have a DNS zone file with which to populate your DNS zone 
For example, from another server, click Use this existing file option and specify the path to that file. If you do not have an existing zone file, then you have to select Create a new file with this file name option. We can see the file name that is created automatically when we choose this option. Click Next to continue. Allow both non secure and secure dynamic updates option enables clients that support dynamic DNS to update their records in the DNS zone. It also supports non secure dynamic updates. Choose to not allow dynamic updates option if you want to manually maintain all DNS records. Choose one of the following as per your requirement and then click Next. Click on Finish. The standard primary DNS zone named msftwebcast.in has been created successfully. Let's add resource record in this zone. Click on msftwebcast.in DNS zone. Right click on it and select new host. And www as the host name which will make the fully qualified domain name www.msftwebcast.in. Now enter the associated IP address 172.1872.61. If you want to create a pointer record associated with the host record, then you have to select this checkbox. Once you're done, click on Add Host. We get the confirmation that host record is added successfully. Click OK and click on Done. We can confirm that the new host record has been successfully added to our DNS zone msftwebcast.in. Since this is a standard primary zone, this zone will not be available on SRT22-DC01 domain controller. Let's check that. Go back to SRT22-DC01 VM. Open Run menu, type DNS MGMT.msc and hit Enter key. Verify that msftwebcast.in DNS zone is not present on this DC. Now let's convert a standard primary DNS zone into Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Go back to SRT22-DC02 VM. If you are already running a DNS server that is domain controller with an active zone in service, it's easy to convert that to an Active Directory integrated zone. Right click the zone folder you want to convert and select properties. Check the type, it is primary. Click on change. Select the checkbox, store the zone in Active Directory. This option will be only available if your DNS server is also domain controller. Click OK. Click on yes. Now we need to define the replication scope. Click on change. Two application partition get created automatically once AD integrated zone is configured. Domain DNS zones and forest DNS zones. Zone data stored in domain DNS zones is replicated to every DNS servers in the domain. DNS zone data stored in forest DNS zone is replicated to every DNS server in the Active Directory forest. If you want to replicate this zone to all domain controllers in the forest, then select first radio button. We will keep the second option selected as we want to replicate this DNS zone to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in msftwebcast.com domain. Click OK. We also want to enable secure dynamic update for this Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Click on drop down list and select Secure only from the list. Now click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Click on Forward Lookup Zones and verify that now msftwebcast.in zone is converted into Active Directory Integrated Zone Type. You can also create application partition manually using DNS CMD or NTDS Util commands. DNS servers associated with this application partition will replicate among themselves. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. First, let me show you the domain DNS zones and forest DNS zones application partitions. Type command DNS CMD slash enum directory partitions and hit Enter key. We can see the both partitions on our domain controller. DomainDNSZones.msftwebcast.com 
and for us dn is zones.msfwebcast.com type command wrap admin slash sync all slash apd and hit enter key to force replication of all domain controllers since msftwebcast.in dns zone is now ad integrated it must be present on the srt22 half and dc01 domain controller let's check that go back to srt22 half and dc01 click on forward lookup zones and then click on refresh we can see msftwebcast.in zone is also present on srt22 half and dc01 domain controller You can also match zone startup authority numbers on both DNS servers. Let's check that. Double click on msftwebcast.in DNS zone. Check the startup authority number which is 3 on DC01. Let's go back to DC02. Click on msftwebcast.in zone. Click on refresh. Here the information is still not updated. Let me run the replication command once more. Okay let's again click on our zone click on refresh let's restart this service this will take few seconds to update the information on both tns zone now we can see the startup authority number is at 3 so we can confirm that msftwebcast.in active directory integrated dns zone is up to date on both domain controllers You can directly create Active Directory integrated DNS zone from the DNS manager. There is no need to create standard primary DNS zone and then convert into Active Directory integrated DNS zone. For the purpose of this video, I have created standard primary DNS zone first and then converted that zone into Active Directory integrated. That's all for this video on how to configure Active Directory integrated DNS zone in Windows Server 2022 DNS server. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.